So remember, everyone says, as you get older, you get less fit, but I increased my VO2 max six points in one year. So it's possible, friends. A lot of hiking with my daughter. We bike to school. Been running with my girlfriend one day a week, three miles. So all that stuff's helped. Oh yeah. And I feel like I'm just as strong, maybe a little bit lighter. Hey friends, welcome back. We're with Dan Finn here at F3 Fitness. We're gonna redo my VO2 max. I just had a birthday, I turned 41, Dan, about a month ago. And I'm trying to beat last year's VO2 max test. Uh, I got 48.5. I was a little bit heavier then than I am now. And the reason why I like the VO2 max is integrating all these different systems from the cardiovascular system, your musculoskeletal system, your aerobic system, your central nervous system. It's integrating all that. So this is a really good functional test to test your overall level of fitness. Absolutely. It's probably the number one test as far as where you're at, as far as quality of life and, you know, your odds of mortality and things like that as you age. So super important. Number one on the list to uh, just above strength as far as quality of life throughout the aging process. Really important. So the reason why I like to do this once a year is, Dan, I want to make sure that my rate of fitness is not going down over 40. I'm trying to just be stronger, more vital with age. But the nice thing about the VO2 max, it also tells you your target heart rate thresholds for zone one, zone two, zone three. And basically we're going to slowly ramp up over the course of eight to 10 minutes. And then it's just going to be an all out. I'm going to give it everything I can until I can't go anymore. So it's a little painful, but I'm excited about it. Do you think that I will be able to beat last year's number based upon what you've seen? Well, you're 11 pounds lighter and all of the trips to the mountains and everything you've been doing. I would be very underwhelmed if you don't do it. So okay. get some expectations to meet. Nice. So we're going for over 50. Yes. All right. So let's see what I got, friends. One thing that I'm curious to find out is I have the Garmin Tactics watch and it's estimating my VO2 max to be at 48. So it'll be really interesting to see how that corroborates with this actual technology. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. Whew, that's a tough one. Just the last two minutes is where it really counts. So I started to dig deep, try to slow down my breathing. And I saw I had 40 seconds where I felt like I could give it a little bit more. So yeah, <laughs> super curious to see what shows up. How do you feel compared to the last time? Um, actually I feel better. I mean, my legs are burning. Yeah, I feel my glutes though on that machine. Oh yeah, So it's amazing. Towards the end, if you do do this on a stair stepper, really try to maximize your glutes because they're such a strong muscle, or they should be. That really helped get through the last two minutes, so. Yeah, you're right, if you rely on your quads, you're gonna you're finish stuck. a lot earlier, yeah. Yeah. Cool. 54.4, it's up six from. From this end. <laughs> yeah. So remember, everyone says, as you get older, you get less fit, but I increased my VO2 max six points in one year. So it's possible, friends. Nice work. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> that was awesome. You were able to sustain that high intensity level a lot longer than you were a year ago because of the, the training that you were doing. So Interesting. Well, thanks as always for watching all the way through. Hopefully you found value out of this video. If you did hit that like button, let me know what you think in the comments. If you get your VO2 max test, and it's kind of curious, Dan, the Garmin far underestimated my VO2 max, which I think is interesting. So if folks want to get a VO2 max test done here in Seattle, how can they learn more about your business? So uh, a couple different ways on Instagram, at F3 Functional Fitness. Uh, also website f3-functionalfitness.com. Um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, one of, once again, it's a key indicator as far as quality of life and projecting uh, longevity as well. So if you want to be performing well and you well into your 80s, 90s, or even 100s, this is a way to do it. You need to be able to track it. You may, need to be able to measure it. Otherwise, your health doesn't get managed.